what's up guys welcome to another fantastic video guys in today's video we are going to look at how to connect a custom domain name to google site okay so if you have a google site you've created your website now you need to publish your website but you want to use your custom domain so you have a dot com or dot ng or dot wherever you want to use your own custom domain name then you need to watch this video till the end because i'm actually going to show you all the steps you need to take okay so without wasting your time let's get started okay the first thing you want to do is you want to head over to your google site and uh, make sure you've set everything up so after that you need to click on this publish button right here so once you click on publish you are going to brush straight to this section so yeah we just need to enter a random name so that we can use with our google site but if you scroll down here you will see this custom domain name section and it says yeah make it easy for people to visit your website with custom domain names like um, www.yourdomain.com so just click on manage and it's going to pop up this stuff so what you want to do now before you go ahead to do this step you need to do a few things so i'm going to show you two ways to go about it now the first one is using google domains okay if you go to domains.google.com you're going to go straight to this section so right here you can buy domain name from google and this is their current prices so it's actually very fair enough dot com is twelve dollars twelve dollars twelve dollars so this is fair enough so you can just simply buy domain name right here and everything is going to work seamlessly with your google site okay so you can buy domain from google domains and connect to your google site easily but let's say you have your domain in another pro provider like namecheap godaddy or whichever one and uh, before i forget if you haven't gotten a domain name you can link you can use my link in the description box below to buy a domain name okay at namecheap at the very affordable price okay so once you bought your domain name now we need to do a few things for us to use the domain name so we need to verify the domain name we need to verify our ownership of the domain into our google search console okay so if i if you go here just before you start up setting up okay before you start setting up your domain you need to make sure you bought it and you have verified ownership in google search console so for this case i'm going to be using this domain i bought uh not i bought i actually got from um free norm let me show you okay so i'm going to be using this cool store one dot tk okay i'm going to be using this domain that i got from um free norm okay and uh, i got this domain for free so at here free norm you can get a free domain name dot tk dot um gq dot all those things for free so i'm going to copy the domain now and, and head over to um yeah and head over to google search console so this is google search console so what i need to do now is to verify ownership of the domain so if you don't have a search console account just go to search.google.com and um, it's going to ask you to set up a search console account so once you set up a search console account then now we need to verify our domain so for my case i'll just click on add property and now we need to verify the ownership of our domain so what we need to do is to paste our domain here so once i pasted it here i'm going to be using this domain section once i pasted the domain here i just click on continue and it's going to try to verify properties as you can see here it says ownership auto verified now why it says this is because i've actually added the properties okay to my dns so in your case what you need to do is to add properties to, so it's going to ask it's going to show you some code okay uh, i wanted to show you that step but i don't know why um it skipped it immediately okay so uh let me show you the step so as you can see my own is verified already okay so but let me show you the step so that you will take it so that you see the step to take when you're when you're just newly verifying yours okay so uh let me just show you let me see i want to add a new property now and uh, i want to add um let me pick a domain again um let me go by here and uh, let me pick this domain let's say i want to use this domain i want to verify this domain okay on google search console so i'll just copy the domain copy and head over to um search console and uh, paste it here so now i'll just click on continue so it's going to try to verify the domain as you can see it says i if you fail to add domain property invalid okay 
I think it needs me to add this URL. Okay, so you need me to add, um, yeah, let me just copy the URL here. Okay, so you need to follow all these steps, okay, they're very, very important. <laughs> HTTPS, I think it needs HTTPS, okay. So I just copy it like this now and head over to here and paste it here. I think there's something wrong with this domain so there's something wrong with it but i'm going to try to verify i'm going to show you another one so that um yes okay yeah exactly so this is how your also is going to look like okay so you're going to have all this text here so what you want to do is just a few things very simple so the first one is to select record type which um they recommend txt record okay now they say you sign into your domain name provider eg godaddy name chip whichever one it can be any domain name provider you're using so sign in so once you're in you just need to copy the txt record below um you just need to copy the txt record below okay and then click on verify now so what that means is let's say for this domain example let me use this domain now i just need to click on manage and uh, once i click on manage it's going to bring me here so i'm going to go to the dns of the area so um for this case i think i've changed the name server so i'm li i'm going to literally point the name server back to uh freenom so in your case you don't need to do this if it's a new domain okay so this is an old domain that's why i'm doing this so once um the dns the name server has been changed to the main one then we can simply add this code so to add them it's very simple so just click on manage dns okay so once you click on manage dns it's actually going to now allow us to add those records so this is it okay so this is it so this one should be at or your domain name.com so this one can be your domain name so you can just um enter your domain name here so once you do that remember it's txt record so change this from a record to txt then target so where is the yeah this is the target so we just copy this stuff and um, come over here and paste the target okay Control v so once we've done that we just need to cross check again so the this should be pointing at the do, at the root domain yes which is pointing already it's pointing at the root domain already so click on the tk txt record then this is the stuff so once you do that just click on save changes and um, allow for some time for it to propagate so once the changes has been saved as you can see here record, record added successfully so once it has been added successfully you just allow it for some time to propagate so once you finish that you can just click on verify now and it's trying it's going to go through the process of trying to verify it so sometimes you get this um warning or this um failure verification so just leave it for some time to propagate okay so it needs little time to propagate so once it has propagated you just keep on you just keep trying verify to see if that it has propagated so as you can see here here has propagated now so once it has propagated then we can continue with the next step exactly so the next step now it will, it will be since you have verified the ownership of our domain the next step will now be to use the domain so i have i've done the two now okay so what i need to do now is to use the two these is to use the domain name right now so i'm going to use the second one i just did so that uh, i'm going to show you guys exactly how it's done so for this case just go back to the website so this is the website right this is the website right now so all we need to do is to click on remember all you need to do is to click on this um publish icon here once you click on publish click on manage then it's going to bring us straight to this section that says you should um connect our custom domain name so we just need to click on startup and um, leave this section here and then paste your domain here so ctrl v oh okay remove this 
and then come over here come over here copy this stuff and then come over here and then paste it here ctrl v and then delete this um stuff doesn't need this stuff so after that it's going to check as you can see the domain is available right now so click on the tk so just click on next and it's going to bring us series of inf um, instructions as you can see here connect to third party domain name registrar remember when i told you if you're using google domains you don't need to do this step but if you're using any other domain name provider then you're going to carry out this step okay so we need to connect the domain right now so as you can see it gives us a series of instruction which is one thing i love about google site so as you can see the first one is in a separate tab sign it to your domain name registrar website now the second one go to your dns settings create a new c name entry so um since we are here already we just need a c name entry so we need a new record okay cool so the c name entry and um under c name value or alliance enter www so we just copy this so this is what we are going to be using copy then come over here and um, this will be the name so just control v www and then change it remember it's c name okay so just c name and then the target will be what so and in c name destination enter this one so this will be the target and please remember to copy the full stop as well okay copy and um as you can see it says here include period at the end okay so we should copy the full stop as well so copy that and uh, paste it at this target section now remember if you're using namecheap or godaddy or whichever one this process is the same so you don't have anything to worry about okay so once you've copied this then um we can save changes then come back to this tab and click done okay so right now we've added this stuff so we'll just click on save changes and um, we'll see so if it have added successfully so as you can see here the record has been added successfully right now and uh, since we have done that then we need to save changes which we have saved and then we need to come back here and click done so what we need to do is to click done now okay and it's going to say assigning domain name and custom domain name assigned so it has assigned this domain name to our google site lovely so once this is done this is completed then we just need to exit right here and uh, as you can see here so the domain name has been added and as you can see it says here allow up to 48 hours for this site to also be seen as our custom domain name so it might actually take 48 hours for our custom domain name to propagate so that is one thing you need to bear in mind okay so if you followed all my steps and everything i've showed you this should work 101 percent okay there's no reason for it not to work so but you need to make sure you followed everything i've showed you so right now we need to enter um something here so just so just enter uh, a value here so that we can use it to um save our domain our site for now so you can access our site with this url then after 48 hours or less or more we are going to be accessing our website from this uh slickconnect.ck website so i believe this was um this was easy so i just copy this and um, paste it here so that um, we can use it to access our site so once we've done this and this is okay we can we can then say publish okay so once this is okay and um, we like it then we can go ahead and say publish okay so it's actually going to start publishing our website and the website is published and we can then click on view to view our website so this is the current view of the website right now okay yeah so as you can see this is the current uh, view of the website so um i'm going to try the the custom domain name we added to see if it has propagated but remember it can take up to 48 hours for it to propagate so 
um, bear that in mind as well so i'm going to add um www dot so just check as you can see nothing happened so it's it hasn't propagated and then um, we need to wait for up to 48 hours so i'm going to try again with uh it's an incognito window to see if that's done So as you can see it's not working yet so um we'll be we'll just basically leave it for some time for it to propagate before we can then use it okay so this is how you connect a custom domain name to your google site um i wanted to show you the end product but since it's going to take that long i might not have the chance to show you that but trust me if you followed all the steps i've showed you your domain name should work perfectly and if you have any question at all tell me in the comment section if you want me to make any special video for you tell me as well in the comment section and i'll consider doing the video for you okay so um yeah this is how you go about it guys after some time um as you can see this thing is actually working now this is it cool store one the tk and um, everything is working so this is our live site um yeah so it's totally totally working our custom domain name with our google site is totally working now so this is how you go about adding your custom domain name to your google site i hope this was very very helpful guys if you need me if you have any question tell me in the comment section if you want me to do anything for you tell me in the comment section and if you have any question about this i'm there as well in the comment section make sure to subscribe to the channel like the video and don't forget to share it to people that you know it to be of help too so this is if you follow all the steps that i've showed you in this video from the very first step to the last very step you are going to have yourself a custom domain name connected to your google site just like you've seen me do in this video so thank you very much for watching guys i will see you in my next video stay blessed